Okay, good evening, everybody. I wanted to share something um, with you all because something that came in my email from my work actually gave me chills. And I had to think for a little while if I wanted to share or not, but I really do. Not everybody's going to agree with me and that's okay. Um, but you should all be aware and be vigilant and um, listen to this. So not everybody knows that I work for a company that is owned by CVS. So every day I get CVS emails. CVS is a massive multi-billion dollar company. And they're massively involved in the pandemic because there is so much money to be made. I mean, they're, they're going to be distributing the vaccine. They're, they're, they're doing the testing. They're working with um, Governor Baker to mandate the flu shot. Because if we all remember back in August, Governor Baker stood in, at CVS um, selling the flu shot. Governor Baker also has a coronavirus vaccine task force, and he has a CVS doctor on in that task force. CVS is highly, highly involved in this entire pandemic, and they are making a killing. Let me share with you an email I received a few days back, a message from Troy Brennan, who is EVP and Chief Medical Officer and Coronavirus Executive Task Force Co-Chair. So this guy has, he's high up there. He has a lot of um, influence, a lot of power. The United States is clearly, he says, in the midst of a steep worsening of the COVID-19 pandemic with daily new documented infections rising. So notice he doesn't say hospitalizations rising. He doesn't say deaths are rising. He says infections. And I can guarantee you that they are counting infections as people who are getting tested positive with this inaccurate PCR test. Okay, so he is saying from around 60,000 per day five weeks ago to nearly 200,000 per day today. So lots of people are getting lots of tests. Um, this is likely to worsen with the social gatherings that usually occur at Thanksgiving, despite warnings from the CDC. Excuse me. The increases we see here in the United States were anticipated by increases in Europe in late September and October. Many countries witnessed five to tenfold increases over background rates and employed severe lockdowns to get the infection rates under much better control. Now, this next sentence that I'm going to say should open your eyes, and I want you really to look at it and listen and think about it. However, Troy Brennan says, their ability to lock down is much greater than in the United States, where leaders in many states are opposed to restrictions on the basis of personal freedom, despite the public health guidance. So let me read that one more time. However, their ability, these other non-free supposedly countries, their ability to lock down is much greater than in the United States where leaders in many states are opposed to restrictions on the basis of personal freedom despite the public health guidance. What that tells me is that Troy Brennan is disappointed that he couldn't control more people, that he couldn't lock down more people because America is based on freedom. What that tells me is Troy Brennan is disappointed that America is based on civil liberties and protecting those civil liberties. What that also tells me is that if he, he had the opportunity and if government had the opportunity to implore more strict lockdowns, because if we were to lose those freedoms, they would indeed do that to us. What that tells me is that more than ever, we need to stand up for our civil liberties and our civil freedom. What is at risk right now? Our medical freedom and our religious freedom and our salt on the human body. These are all at risk right now. And it says it right here in this sentence. And he just sends it out in this email thinking nobody will catch it. 
guess what? I did. Public policy he wants is full of greed and power, and it's dangerous. Never follow blindly. Always ask questions and never follow the status quo. He wants us to be led by this horrible public health guidance that has not been based on science. There has been no back and forth discussion. There has only been one way. And if you question it, you look like a quack. But I'm telling you right now, if you don't stand up to what's going on, we're going to lose. And they will have the ability to lock us down further and to give us more stricter restrictions, okay? So it's our time. It's our time to stand up. It's our time to wake up and to know that people like Troy Brennan aren't rooting for us. I'm concerned, but I'm going to keep on putting this information out there. Have a good night, everybody, and stay strong.